Tagging in TestMoz helps you organize your data. If you're not familiar with tags, they are just arbitrary labels you can attach to things to help you search and filter. Adding tags to your test results can help you if you have multiple classes or periods taking the same test. Let's pretend you're a teacher and you teach the same U.S. history course to two different periods during the day. You want to conduct a test with TestMoz for both periods and you want to keep the results separated to make it easier to import into your gradebook. One option is to create one test, then use the test utilities to duplicate it. To make a copy of the test, click on the test from your dashboard and use the test utilities menu to create a clone. Now that I have two copies of this test, I want to suffix each test name with the period it corresponds to so I know which is which. To rename the test, just go to the settings page for each test and adjust the name. I won't show you that step since it's trivial to do. Now that my tests are renamed, I'm ready to go. The important thing to keep in mind is that each test has a distinct URL, and you need to be sure to direct your students to the correct URL. We can see the URL by going to the Publish page for each test. I'm going to open them in a new tab. I need to I give, need to give this, URL this URL to period, to period three, 3 and this URL to period 5. When I view their results, I'll go to their respective results pages and the results will obviously be separated. The problem with this approach of cloning the test is if you need to make a change, you have to remember to do it in multiple places. It can also create clutter in your dashboard, especially if you have to distribute the test to a dozen different groups. Fortunately, TestMoz has a way for you to partition your results without duplicating the entire test. Let's delete this duplicate test and rename the original. I've just done all that and I'm back on the dashboard. Now we've just got our one US history test. I'll go to the publish page for this test and I'm going to create a URL alias for each class period. In TestMoz, all your tests are accessed through a simple URL. TestMoz generates a default URL for you, which for most people works just fine. But some people don't like the numeric URLs or they want something shorter or more descriptive. In addition to customizing the URL, an alias allows you to associate tags with the URL. So anyone who accesses the test through your URL alias will automatically have their test results tag with whatever tag you choose. Let's start by creating an alias for period three. I'll use the alias testmoz-us-history3. This alias can be anything you want, but it has to be unique within the whole testmoz system. This is the important part. I'm going to give it a tag of period three. I'll save and now I have an alias for this test. Anyone who goes to that URL and takes the test will have their results tag with period three. I need to do the same thing for period five. I'll create another URL alias and notice here the URL alias ends with a five and I use the tag period five. When I distribute the test to my students, I need to be sure to give each class period their unique URL. TestMoz will automatically add a tag to the results depending on the URL the student accessed the test from. I've taken the test a handful of times through the different URLs so we have some results to play with. If we go to the results page, we can see that all the results have tags on them. By default, TestMoz will show you all the results for this test. But if I want to filter the results by a tag, I can type tag colon period three in the search bar. I can also click the tag name. After you filter the results by tag, you'll notice the stats at the top of the page reflect this partition. This makes it possible to compare stats between your classes. When I export the results, the CSV files will only show the data for this partition. If I clear my search, I will see all the results again and the stats in CSV files will reflect all the data. If for some reason you want to manually tag some results, you can do that. Select the relevant results and choose edit tags at the bottom of the screen. I'll add a dummy tag just for an example. TestMoz also lets you partition the results by a Boolean combination of the tags. So if I want to find the people from period five who have the new foo tag, I can type tags colon period five and foo into the search. This may be useful to you if you have multiple tags attached to the results, like the class year or the semester or something like that. I can also combine the partitioning with a name search simply by typing the name I'm looking for. 
in some cases you might not want to go through the trouble of creating a URL alias for each class. This can be tedious, especially if you have lots of tests and classes. There is a secret feature of TestMoz that comes in handy for this situation. Let's pretend I now teach US history in period 6, in addition to period 3 and 5. I'm going to create a new tag called period 6. I'll go to the theme and tags page to create it. I'm not going to create a new URL alias for my test. Instead, I'm going to instruct my students to go to the test URL followed by a hash sign and the tag name. If I go to this URL, TestMoz will generate an alias for me automatically. That saves me the trouble of creating the aliases on my own. That's it for tagging your test results. Thanks for watching.